We've all been there. You're hot, she's cold. Temperature wars happen in the office, at home, in the car, anywhere. There are even studies about it. But then we heard about this new device called Ember. It's a personal thermostat that you wear on your wrist. Here's how it works. It's quite simple. You put the ember on your wrist and turn it on. Then push the left side for cold or right side for hot. Both hot and cold have multiple settings. Ember's co-founder described it to me as a mini air conditioner or heater on your wrist. And that's exactly what it felt like. The heat and cold comes in waves and lasts about three to five minutes, but can also be turned on for almost 30. They also explain that Ember is changing your skin temperature and not your core body temperature. Think of it the same way you would hold a hot cup of tea when you're cold. The sensation of the heat in your hands makes you feel warmer, but your core body temperature isn't actually changing. But what the hot and cold sensation is actually doing is waking up thermoreceptors in the skin on your wrist and affecting your nervous system. A recent study at UC Berkeley found that Ember Wave actually restores comfort by up to 5 degrees. And by the way, the Ember was designed to be used in everyday environments where your core temperature isn't affected. So it's not meant to replace a jacket or to be worn while skiing. Here's what I like about it. It actually works. Anytime I got uncomfortable in the office, I simply pushed a button and got warmer or cooler and way more comfortable. It's very easy to use. You simply push a button and decide whether you need to be warmer or cooler and it immediately fires up. Also, the battery lasted for several days. I went about three or four days before I needed to recharge the Ember. But what I didn't like about the Ember was that it was really bulky on my wrist. I couldn't actually type or use my mouse because the Ember was getting in the way. Another thing I don't like is the cost. At $300, the Ember is very expensive. Lastly, if you have sensitive skin, the Ember might not be for you. While it didn't affect my skin at all, a coworker who tried the device actually had her skin turn a little bit red when she turned the heat all the way up. So should you buy it? This is a tough question. I wouldn't buy it, but I don't get too hot or cold throughout the day. However, if you're someone who finds yourself sweating at the office or keeping a space heater under your desk, this may be worth it for you.